Um, hey guys, <clears throat> I'm back with a, a short video. This one is quickly to explain um, what I had been working on trying to fix before I started the, the tutorial series because this is one of the parts of the, the OpenGL tutorial series that I wanted to um, get working to an extent um, because it's qu quite important. I've seen some other people on YouTube try and do a tutorial of, the, uh, of this this type of class and they don't really actually do it um, there is no actual like batching going on so what I'm talking about of course is the sprite batch class so essentially what a sprite batch, sprite batch class does is since you you know you're going to be drawing possibly the same texture over and over again just at different trend just for different locations what you can do with vertex buffer objects um, is you can buffer all the vertices at their uh, location so you do the the position um, transforms at CPU level as you can see here I add their uh, I, I set the position of the four vertices um, based on the sprite data that's passed into the draw call um, the position data and then what I do is I just keep uh, adding verts um, or at least adding sprites in here and then when I go to flush and flush is basically just saying um, that's when we draw so we're gonna take all our GPU our data our vertex data and flush it to the GPU for it to do the, the draw call using um, GL elements using an index buffer uh, it'll only draw once so it's one draw call for x number of sprites so it's a whole like crap ton of sprites only one draw call now of course if you change the texture we ha you're going to incur more draw calls because it it needs only it can only bind one texture at a time for drawing so if you switch out the texture in between one begin and end call it will um, flush immediately and then draw using the new texture so that's two draw calls now to demonstrate this I'm going to um, print out uh, what the draw calls are. So, and I'm going to show you um, it working. Now I'm going to reset draw calls, of course, at the end. But um, so here I have. Down here, I begin my sprite batch, and the sort mode doesn't really matter at this point because I haven't implemented sorting. The only one uh, that really matters is, well, immediate won't actually buffer. It'll just draw each one. So I'm going to show you that first. That's what immediate does. It doesn't It doesn't batch them. It just, it, the second it gets a texture and it's told to draw, it'll draw it. It'll flush all the vertex data. So... And then I, uh, I call using a uh, color passed in, so that's going to do a color mask on it, so tint it. Um, and then so I draw uh, three using the, the first texture, and then one more using a uh, different texture. Um, so here we go. Oh, if it feels like building, but it doesn't feel like building because Visual Studio. Okay, so as you can see, it's printing out a crap ton of uh, these draw call messages, but it, it tells me four, so that's that's correct. It drew one, two, three, four sprites. Now, that's not really batching anything because the draw call, uh, the draw mode is immediate. Um, but as you can see, we have the first one red tinted, the second one blue tinted, then the, the last one regular. That's what the sprite looks like. And then finally, these, this last one is a different texture. Okay, so let's try actually doing um, some sort of other sort mode. It doesn't really matter because I don't have these implemented yet, but um, what you'll see is the draw call count will, will change. So as you can see now, it's only drawing uh, twice. And that's because 
these three sprites get call uh, get drawn all together in one draw call, and then finally this last one gets drawn in its own draw call. Um, and that's because we changed the texture uh, in between these two begin and ends. So generally, if you want the best performance with this sprite patcher, you're going to want to only draw um, one one texture in between uh, using one unique texture in between a begin and end call. But that's the uh, basics of it. So, um, yeah, so that's where the OpenGL tutorial is eventually going to go. It's going to go in that direction. So you're going to be able to draw um, sprites and basically do whatever you really want with them. Um, make a little simple game. Um, and, it, and it's drawing them efficiently. Because if you were if you were trying to, let's say, use fixed function, so... If you've ever seen GL begin, GL end, and then a bunch of GL vertex in between, that's what's that's fixed function. So every single time you call that GL begin and end for one quad, for one sprite, you're passing all that sprite data, that vertex data, to the uh, to the GPU. Um, so there is no there's no batching going on there. Um, so with uh, vertex buffer objects, um, it's far more efficient, and you can draw. I don't know, like you can draw like a thousand sprites um, in one draw call. So that's pretty useful. Um, so that's it for this uh, quick video. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, more on this coming soon.